Hey, what up guys? This is a Dell laptop, which is basically i7, and it has one terabyte of SSD and eight gigabytes of RAM. Now, the complaint of the user is it is slow when I'm using the computer. Now, the purpose of this video, guys, is I'm going to take you step by step on how I troubleshoot slow computers or laptops. And um, there are many reasons why these laptops or computers go slow, but we are going to be guided on this laptop. Question number one, is it going to be a hardware problem or a software problem? And then when it goes to a software problem, what is happening? Is it a virus? Is it something like that? So we don't know that yet, but I'm going to go through uh, my procedure in troubleshooting this slow laptop. You might learn a technique on how I do my troubleshooting so that I can figure out what's going on wrong with this laptop. Why is it running slow? Jump in guys and I'm going to show it to you step by step. So I'm capturing this one straight up from my camera so that you can see. So some of the graphics are a little bit not clear out there, but anyways, I hope you can see what I'm doing right now. So the first thing I wanna do here is, well, basically the, the mouse or the cursor is working good, so it's not lagging. So I, I have a presumption here that the laptop is working well. And of course, when it comes to this point, it seems like the hardware is going good, but uh, we cannot conclude at that time right now. I would go right away to task manager, type in task manager on this, uh, uh, what do you call this one? Search menu, and I'll press the one. So this, this is screen of task manager comes out. And uh, you can see the apps right here every single software that's running behind the scenes and even the things that you have already opened. But in this case, I haven't opened anything. So um, these things here are a little bit in question. Some of them are in question. So um, uh, we are going to get there later on. I want you to see this as a percentage usage here. You see the CPU, like what I've said, it's Core i7, so it's good, is 3%. So uh, normally, it's not using that amount of resources. But if you try to dive into the memory, it's basically 43%, a little bit big because we are not using anything. We just open Task Manager and it's being eaten up up to 43%. Now, the next one here is the disk. This is the hard drive or the SSD, which is basically 0 to 1%, which is good. Okay, now the network usage is basically 0% because we are not doing anything in the internet or in the network, so that's good as well. Now, here's what we're going to do. If you try to see that un uh, the first list here is anti-malware service executable is 196.5. Now, this is um, the anti-malware of Windows, but you can do, you can see it here, it's Microsoft Defender Antivirus. You can basically end this one just for the sake of testing if it goes down, uh, but we can <laughs> turn it off. Okay, cool. Um, you see Microsoft Copilot. I can actually end this one and let's try to see if there's a difference in the memory. So you can see it's 39%. That's an improvement. And this one as well, Cloudflare, it went to 38, 37%. This Microsoft Teams also. I'm not using Microsoft Teams, so I can shut this one off and task. And you can see it's going down 35, 34%. Uh, Windows input experience, we don't need to turn that off. And you can see these things here mostly for Microsoft as well. So there's nothing else we can do here since the memory is 34%. So let's try to open a app like, let's say Microsoft Edge. We try to open that and you can see that the CPU spikes because it's opening that one. And you can see other things here. The CPU is like 64%, um, one, it loads up this one. It's basically low already. So, 41% it increased. Let's try to open Google Drive, but I'm going to minimize this one because there are files out here, 44%. Hmm. So basically my assumption here is that 
when the user is opening more tabs, let's try to open up Google. Let's go google.com. Then I just want to place this, uh, this one at the side. Try to open a Google window. And let's try and see. See, the memory is already 50% and I just opened some uh, browser. And then you can see Microsoft Edge is using 360. I'll just try and open more browser here. Okay, let's open more. Let's open more. Like, like I'll open YouTube. Uh, let's try to see. YouTube, open this one. I'll open another YouTube probably. Um, what else? Let's try to see if there are changes that are happening here. Okay, so as you can see here, guys, it has 50%, uh, 52 percent of that usage. Now, what we can do here is go to performance, and okay, you try to see the CPU is four percent, it's not being used uh, so much, and you can see here the memory is 50 percent, and it has 7.9 gigabytes of memory. Now, to dig deep more here, guys. You try to see it here, the slots of this laptop is one of two. So it is basically upgradable. We can buy one more uh, piece of eight gigabytes of RAM and this will become automatically around 16 gigabytes if we are going to upgrade this one. We are doing good with our disk and we are doing good with our CPU because they have a very low usage. Just opening the browser, you can see that the memory is basically very high. This is eight gigabytes of uh, RAM. So this is what I can derive from what we did earlier. So basically, when the user is using more of the apps opening more, the memory is being loaded. That's why it is slowing down. So we open multiple browsers without using it and then it reaches 56, 57%. So if you are going to use that one if, or if you are going to watch a video, maybe use uh, uh, um, a web app like Canva and even Microsoft Word online, then everything is going to pile up. So what is my recommendation about this one? If you try to check the specification of the laptop, it has only eight gigabytes of RAM, wherein it is upgradable because we can see that there are two slots available. The one is used already. We can buy additional memory, add it here, and that 50% will automatically be an improvement because if you add 8 plus 8, that is 16 gigabytes, then you have bigger range of memory usage there. So probably that memory usage, which is basically around 40%, that would go half, like 20, 15 to 20% if the computer is not being used. So you will have more flexibility in using your laptop. So there you go, guys. That's what I'm going to tell the user the memory of the laptop needs to be upgraded. And if they want to upgrade it, then we're going to upgrade it. If they don't want to upgrade it, then we have issued our thoughts about their laptop, all right?